even know why I bother. <laughs> no, I'm in with the hay. Oh, there's a hay. Yeah, um, basically I was meant to go into hospital today because Nan's got, um, Nan's ear and A's are all messed up or something. So, yeah, this is the only way I can see you. <laughs> um, yeah, Nan's ear and A's are probably messed up or something. And she's got to go to the hospital tomorrow. Margaret said, oh, come all the way down to the house. Go all the way back. And I was like, no, I'm sorry. I thought she might just go straight to the hospital, but I just didn't mind. But I'm not going all the way down to the house and then all the way back. Like, no, that's rude. So, yeah, I'm just going to go straight to the house now. Instead. Guys, I can't believe how quick Little Mix is coming around now. It's actually quite scary. Like, it's actually really scary how quick it's all coming around. Like, honestly, I have, I've got, like, literally no time at all now. It's, like, it's so exciting. Oh, you can see my mum. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing, a lot of people have been asking me, am I wearing this jumper? Yes, I am. Um, obviously, because it says, I don't know if you can see that. Wait, you see that? It says London 2nd of November, which is my date. So I'm very excited. And don't worry, I'm not going to have these nude nails. Um, I'm going to have like, probably glitzy pink ones, I think. Pointing at me, <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm gonna have like glitzy pink ones um, for my outfit because it's gonna be cold. I'm gonna wear my, this jumper, this hoodie, I should say, some either ripped jeans or normal denim, denim jeans, and I've got my Little Mix top with like just like a white top with Little Mix on it. So that's going to be my outfit. I'm just thinking, because in London, is it going to be cold or not? Because it's quite close to France, London. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be cold or not. Because every time I've been to London, it's been, like, boiling hot. Like, even when we went in December, me and Craig, like, five years ago to see the X Factor final, it wasn't even that cold then. So I don't know if it is going to be cold or not. Fun fact though, I've never been to London and it's raining. <laughs> never. <laughs> so we've always been really lucky with the weather. So fingers crossed it'll happen again. Um, the plan is we are going to London about like we're going to get the second earliest coach because we don't want to get there at 5 a.m. I do, but Craig doesn't. So. I don't know. So obviously, because I don't, I think he thinks he's going to be tired, and it's just going to be a nightmare if we're both tired because we're not going to enjoy ourselves as much. So I'm like, share my space <laughs> like that. But no, I'm pretty sure the adrenaline is going to just take over me. I'm going to be like, yes, bitches! <laughs> But I've got a feeling I'm going to need a lot of tissues. And I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever because I'm just going to... I'm just going to cry it all out. I will. I'm going to start crying. I know I am. Especially when, like... I don't know. I think Secret Love Song is going to get me the most. Yeah. Or if... Because I know Jess has been crying on a few dates um, with The Cure. So... Um, I really hope I don't cry, but I got a feeling because I know they're doing boards on the arena, like the artist is performing, and I swear to God, if I see them, I'm gonna start crying and crazy like, "Where up, woman!" <laughs> Literally. But I'm glad he's gonna. I hope he does say that to me because I'll be like, "Right, Shan, stop crying," because I'm just gonna be there going, Aah! "I'm gonna just ruin it." <laughs> I'm crying. Because I know every single word to every single song, so my throat's gonna be killing. And yes, I am vlogging. 
the whole time. I think I'm going to do a Michael Bublé, so night in the day, I'll vlog the day. We're staying overnight as well. Um, we are staying overnight because basically when we get there, we're just going to go straight to the arena. Like, no touristy things that day. And then um, in the night, well, the first, obviously the 2nd November when we get there, um, we're just going to go straight to Westminster, straight to North Greenwich and just chill at the hotel um, the whole time. And maybe even walk around the O2 arena for a bit. I don't know what we're going to do. But I just don't see the point in tourists in that day because we're just going to be tired. <laughs> Thank you. So I think what we're planning is go to the hotel straight away and just chill the whole day. Maybe even get some sleep. Thank to God I don't wake up too late. I probably won't even sleep. I'll be too excited. I'll be like, I can't cope with it. And then the second day, obviously after Little Mix, that is when we're going to do the tourist bus. And what the hell is that? Um, yeah, the day after, so the 3rd of November, we're coming back at like five o'clock. So I think we get the coach about eight or nine o'clock. I can't remember. But um, I think we're gonna do it like that. And then the second day, that's when we're gonna do like the London Eye, Tourist, Westminster Bridge, Buckingham Palace, Tower of London, um, things like that. Trafalgar Square, things like that. Because I think if we do it all in one day, we're just going to be so tired. And if we do it on the second, we're going to have to wait all those hours until we go home. So it's just going to be ridiculous. And I just think, like, if we start off by chilling, just think today's the day, like, get myself ready, make sure my hair is on point. Make sure I have a bath or a shower or whatever's there. Make sure everything's nice and clean and everything. You know, just like proper jam out to that mix. Maybe have a little cheeky drink, that kind of thing. Because I don't want to be like, because I know with um, when we went to see Michael Bublé, we all did it all in one day. And then we were like, we were supposed to enjoy the boat trip, but honestly, my auntie was having a panic attack because we are in, we didn't have any tea before we actually went to the concert. Like the only thing we had was um, a McDonald's breakfast and buns on the tourist bus, that's it. And we thought we were going to be eating on salad, not at all. So my advice, if you come to London, make sure you take some sort of pat lunch with you because Unless, if you're going on the tourist bus or you're going to see a show in the night, you ain't going to have time to eat. Because we, we were just like, oh, we're going to have a Nando's, we're going to have KFC, we're going to have so much food. We didn't. <laughs> Spoiler, we did not have that much food. My auntie was like, shut, she was like, because when we got into Serena, I said to Margaret, I was like, I'm really hungry. And she was like, oh my God, we haven't eaten this today. But it's because we were so into what we were doing, we just forgot. And then when we got on the uh, Thames trip, we were just like, oh my God, we haven't ate. So I was like, I'm starving. And guys, whatever you do, don't buy any foods in the O2 Arena. Jesus Christ, the prices. I almost fell through the floor. Like, I was, yeah, really expensive. Because I, I said to Craig, I was like, please make sure you eat before we go into the arena, because I ain't paying seven pounds for a hot dog. Seven fucking pounds for a hot dog. The only we, we, we had to half it, and it didn't even fill me up, but I was like, man, I'm starving. And then we had a bottle of water, and I tipped her water everywhere, she could nearly kill me for that, but it looked like she got that excited, she pissed herself, but she didn't. I think she almost killed me. I actually think she, should, she was gonna, I thought she was gonna kill me. 
but she didn't. But she literally went so mad at me. She was like, Shannon! Oops. Three pound on a bottle of water down the drain. <laughs> All over the floor. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna... But it's hilarious because we, my mum was like shoving all the food down her face because she couldn't take it to the arena. Yeah. And then when we got to the, like the actual bit where they, because the security bag is thing, it's like the airport. Funniest thing was, I had a bottle of water or whatever it was. I think it was actually Fanta or something like that, seven up, in my bag. My mum threw a bottle and I, I kept mine thinking, oh, if they do, I'll have to just throw it. Was I did take into the bloody arena. I was like, yes, then. But I did throw all my food out, which I was kind of getting about. But yeah, definitely take a pat lunch if you're going to London. And don't carry heavy stuff. Because honestly, the first time I went, I was like, oh, I need that, 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 that. You don't. All you need is maybe I had my little bag. I had my phone, my, well, I didn't actually have my house keys because Craig had them. Um, I had my phone, my money, um, my ID, my van card, um, a deodorant, a spray. I think that was it in my bag. And then um, in my, I had like a bigger bag, which me and my auntie were sharing, which had all of the, like, the nighttime clothes. Because if you watch my tourists in London for the day vlog and um, my Michael Bublé vlog you'll notice that I've got different outfits on but it's the same day I changed in the toilets that's all so yeah I've spoken for way too long it's 12 minutes on now it's supposed to be as long as the video is anyway so yeah um I might even do a video about do's and don'ts in London like so if anyone needs any tips I can do it so let me know if that's a video you want to see because I just think like there's so many things that you can that you shouldn't shouldn't do in London oh and if you've never been don't be surprised how small everything seems it's very more like on the TV for me on BBC like ITV news for me like like the Parliament everything looks so much bigger it's bloody tiny even Big Ben's not that big Oh, and you have to visit Little Ben. <laughs> it's literally the cutest thing in the world. Like, Mum found, Mum actually found it. Where's she gone? There she is. Mum actually found Little Ben. Yeah. And was like, because uh, we went to see the poppies, which I'm going again this year. But we were, it was me, Mum and Cree, and we all went there. And then we got out the Victoria Station, and then Mum was like, oh my God, there's a Little Ben not even realising that that was actually the clock's name and then she was like I want to photo with Little Ben and I was like Mum will you stop calling it Little Ben it's not Little Ben and she was like and then Craig was like no Shan it actually is called Little Ben I was like what I was like no way and then when I see it it actually was and it like when I showed Margaret she's like oh my god that's so much smaller <laughs> oh my god and I felt so mad oh shit I felt so embarrassed because on that vlog, the same vlog where uh, me and Mum uh, and Craig were in London, basically I said to you guys, I was pointing out everything on my, I was like all like that, and then I pointed, I don't know if I'm talking really loudest because uh, if I'm literally shouting it's because I don't know if you can hear me over the traffic. I remember pointing at things and then I was like, uh, there's a block of flats there that's been reconstructed. That block of flats is actually Big Ben. Oops. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> I just realised as I was walking back through it, I was like, oh my god, it's actually Big Ben. I was so embarrassed. I was literally creasing at myself, thinking it was Big Ben. It was a, uh, and it wasn't. It was. I said it was a block of flats, and it wasn't. Great. <laughs> Fucking great, Shan. Great YouTuber you are, huh? So, yeah, we're definitely, I cannot wait to vlog London. I'm literally so excited to go back. Um, I just want, do you know when you get that excited? Like, honestly, I think it's been a year, 
like since we booked tickets to see Little Mix now. Like I don't remember what day it was actually. I don't remember the exact day. I'll put the day off the on the screen here and then I'll put how long I've been waiting for the concert because I can't remember. But it feels like a year I've been waiting for this bloody thing. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever waited this long for a concert in my life. Like I just it, it went to it was like it's mad because I've been waiting a whole nearly a whole year to see the girls and like in two hours it's gonna be all done. In two hours, all over. But and honestly, I I'm being serious now guys. I honestly think this is gonna be the best concert and night I'm ever gonna have. Because you guys if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I'm obsessed. How obsessed I am with these girls. And I cannot wait. Like honestly, if you hear me, if you see me crying, just ignore me because like honestly this concert means the world to me. Like going to this concert means everything. Like I can't wait. So I'm gonna end this clip here now because I've literally talked since I got out of the house. I'm nearly down my energy now. Great one! And I'm gonna this is a little mix. It looks like a travesty. But I had to put it all in the back of my hood because it rained so bad. Like seriously so bad. Why does it look like I've got no neck? <laughs> but um let's try and get it all out now. Ugh. It was straight, but then it got really windswept, so I'm so, oh my god, oh my god, okay, it still looks like a disaster, but it's fine, we can live with it, but um, yeah, I'm currently at my auntie's now, Jesus, my hair looks so bad, I can't go upstairs now because, um, one of the people from the church upstairs and I really don't want to be up there with them so I'm trying to be quiet so they don't hear me um but yeah I'm just chilling a minute I'm hoping my auntie's gonna go to town today and um, maybe I can go with her so we'll have to see if she was just that why is this not focusing oh crap just messaged me but um yeah I'm just chilling on the sofa at the minute. Um, I talked for so long in the last clip. I just had a lot to say about London. But seriously, guys, if you want me to do like a do's and don'ts, why is this not focusing? If you want me to do like a do's and don'ts in London, then let me know. I could tell you one thing you should do is get. If you want to like see a good amount of London, if you're only there for one day, definitely get on the tourist bus because it is literally insane. Like you see everything. Like I, I've always wanted to see St Paul's Cathedral. I've seen it. Um, Trafalgar Square, Piccadilly Circus. I've seen all that. Um, not Trafalgar Square, Piccadilly, Piccadilly Circus. You know the all the all the screens are. Wow, that was like being in New York. I was like in so much shock of how beautiful, like I can't believe, like what well, another thing that shocked me about London is, I can't believe how close everything is, like I just assumed like London was so big but it's actually not as big as people think and I've seen the place where Kate and William got married and my, a lot of people, when a lot of people think, a lot of people like Kate, um, a lot of people like Megan um, Megan and Harry, but personally, I'm obsessed with Kate and William, like, I don't know if you can see that, but that is my Kate doll, and that Kate doll, I got so <coughs> Christmas, I think it was, and my dude was like, do you want the, do you want the Megan doll, I was like, no, I do not want the Megan doll, but they knew how obsessed I was with Kate, like, I love Kate Middleton so much, like, Kate and William are my favourite couple. Um, don't I I like Harry but personally I just prefer Kate and William. And their kids are just gorgeous. Like I'm, I've just I don't know, I just love them. Like 
and just being so close to them was like mind blowing. Like, cause I know they're all based in London, so I was like, this is really weird. So yeah, I don't know if the, I don't actually know if there's any like royal like if anything's happening in London on the second apart from Little Mix, but I don't know. And I'm try gonna try and go to the summertime or Jingle Bell Ball at some point. Um, I doubt it'll be the Jingle Bell Ball. I don't think I'll go to that this year. More than likely, um, it'll probably be the summertime ball because I know that's in summertime next year. So I think because basically this year I had so many plans, but obviously because I'm seeing Little Mix, everything like went flat. So. Like all my money has been taken up by Little Mix. Like I was supposed to be doing, I was supposed to be driving by now. Like I was, I was supposed to have a car by now. Um, because I've been doing driving lessons. My theory test is done. But I just couldn't afford it because I've been like I don't get any money off YouTube. I'm not complaining about it because obviously I do get money. Um, because I'm I'm on universe credit. But um, that's it on my only income. I don't have a job. This is like my only job. Um, I, I care, I'm a care for my mum, but that's not really like a proper job. But personally, I don't make any money off YouTube, so anything I any money I make is because of my mum, care for my mum. Why is this not in focus again? Um, any money I make is off my mum, and <clears throat> universal credit. So that's the only way I'm making money, and the only reason why I'm going. Uh, to see them is because like I can afford I can t literally I'm sc you guys don't realize I'm literally scraping every penny I've got to go and see Little Mix Um, I've got a savings tin because I'm awful at saving I don't know how it's happened but I'm literally terrible at saving money why is my hair going blonde color um, I'm dyeing my hair before I go <laughs> it's all right at the minute it's blended in so it's fine but I'm gonna have to dye it again before I go and get better nails in this because I don't really want nude to go to London I want like nice nails but I'm gonna just in case my glue runs out I'm gonna have to buy two packets of nails um doesn't matter if they're different I just want the glue from it because if like one nail slaps off I'm screwed but yeah um I don't really I think that's my only plan but yeah um that's my that's basically that's all i can think of anyway but i definitely recommend you getting the tourist bus um i'm so excited because i'm gonna do the tower bridge i'm gonna do the tower bridge but this time i'm gonna actually be able to fingers crossed i can walk on it this time because obviously last time as you guys know someone was on the bridge so couldn't do it so yeah i'm gonna start and one thing i do want to see is royal albert hall i haven't seen that yet and i really want to see that to see how actually big it is in real life so that would be sick so yeah i'm gonna i really want to watch my tourist vlog anytime i miss london i just watch it so i'm gonna watch it <laughs> 